quadratic inequalities. Let's take a moment to remember how to graph two variable linear inequalities. Pause, try the lesson on. In sketching the first inequality, did you notice it was less than? Dashed line, arrows below. Second line, solid, arrows pointed up. So where's the shaded region? All the way to the right. Now let's state three solutions in that set. Let's graph a quadratic inequality. This first one's in standard form, so I know my y-intercept is 0, negative 1. To find the vertex x equals negative b over 2a, looks like I'm going to get x equals negative 1. Plug that back in, and we get a vertex of negative 1, 0. Once I plot that, I can reflect my y-intercept and draw my quadratic, parabola, dash curve, because we're not equal to. Am I going to shade above this parabola or down below? Below, less than. Is 0, negative 3 a solution? Well, yeah, it's in my shaded region, but let's double check algebraically. To do that, we're going to plug in the x-coordinate of 0 and the y-coordinate of negative 3 to our original inequality. Negative 3 is less than 0. Checks out. I think you got this next one. Pause, give it a try. The vertex was 1 fourth negative 9 eighths. That made it pretty tricky to reflect the y-intercept over the axis of symmetry. Is 1, 3 a solution? Doesn't appear so graphically, but let's check algebraically. 3 less than or equal to 0? No! So 1, 3 is not a solution to this inequality. Systems of quadratic inequalities. The first quadratic inequality is simply at the parent function that's been reflected and translated up three units. So let's go ahead and graph that one. Make sure that you made the first parabola dashed, and then of course it's less than, so it's going to be inside. But let's wait to do our shading until we get the second parabola graphed. The second one is in standard form, so we know the y-intercept immediately, but we have to find the vertex. Go ahead. quadratic is greater than or equal to. So it's a solid curve and then shaded above. So the shaded region where they overlap is that region trapped in between the two in the middle. Is 1, 0 a solution? It appears to be, but let's check it algebraically. <music> 0 less than 2? Check. 0 greater than or equal to 0? Yes, it only has to satisfy one of the conditions. Zero is equal to zero. Graph the next system. Notice the first one is just a transformation of the parent function. Pay attention to dashed or solid. Check your work. Did you find that zero, zero was a solution of the system? It is, and we showed it algebraically as well. Now, Keep in mind going forward, the shaded region is not always the trapped region between the two parabolas. Always follow the math and check for where it is shaded. What would you like me to do? Oh my God. <laughs> or solid. Why did I have to get small? <laughs> I'm like, so it's a dumb boy. Okay. <laughs> 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 